Dozens of local parents protested the school mask mandate before a public meeting took place in Hamden last night. But in the end, the Board of Ed made the controversial decision to extend the mask requirement until March 21st. Eyewitness News reporter Roger Suzanne is live now in Studio B with details of this meeting. And Roger, it was a meeting that was intense. Yeah, it really was. It was really on the verge of spiraling out of control at times. Parents shouted at certain points during this meeting. They shouted at board members. Many of them argued that forcing their children to wear masks at school is actually harmful to their health. But after hours of debate, district leaders extended the mask mandate by nearly two weeks. Now, the decision as you might guess with what I just said, was met with serious anger by nearly all of the parents who actually attended the meeting in person. They believe that the district should get rid of masks immediately, especially because the local positivity rate in Hampton is low, and most Connecticut districts have, of course, already made face coverings optional. But the superintendent says a Hamden Schools survey shows the majority of parents, students, and staff members throughout the district actually prefer keeping masks in school. And in the end, the Board of Ed voted 4-3 to three to extend the mask mandate until March 21st. That's one week from this Monday. The decision capped a meeting that really was contentious from beginning to end. You're not letting me finish. You're not letting me finish. If you learn how to listen and let people finish saying what they have to say, then we can have a conversation, but you're not listening. The entire society, okay, I will say 70% of your community here. Obviously, a lot of people are still very upset with this decision, but the board members who supported extending the mandate until the 21st say they also believe that masks will help keep students safe and healthy during flu season, and they'll make the transition a little smoother later this month. Live in Studio B, I'm Roger Suzanne, Channel 3 Eyewitness News. All right.